as an auditor, has to operate according to your professional ethic. There's the, now we have the International Financial Reporting System. It requires, for example, a certain type of impairment that has to be done. If you go to a bank and they don't have adequate impairment because they are rolling over uh, bad debt, I mean, non-performing loans, so that once they roll it over, but when, as soon as they roll it over, you, the auditor, must be able to see because the roll over should be reflected in the receipts or earnings side because if you roll over, so I think that I used to say, sad to say that, but nobody ever steals government money without the complicity of an accountant. <laughs> it's impossible. Always they are involved. I believe that... This is comforting to hear for the lawyers. <laughs> because the lawyers have been said to be the most demonic of all professionals. Actually, but apparently we have a few accountants. <laughs> Who join you? <laughs> <laughs> but on a more serious note, I think that... Uh, Oftentimes, when I was using Enron, I, I decided to use a far away one, but Anderson was very, very much involved in what happened. Right. Because it's not easy, I agree, for a, an auditing firm in one year to be able to discover things. Because if you have got a smart chief executive and a board, but if you follow consistently and you don't come up with what is wrong, then there's something wrong. 